Okay, guys, I'm sorry that my videos haven't been in um, high definition, HD, whatever. Um, I just, just not in my own mood to be doing, getting it all set up. But I'm just going to do a bit of a rant here, um, mainly because I'm pissed off at um, some boss fight, final boss fight in Resident Evil Revelations. Uh, I'm just going to talk about boss fights. Um, boss fights I have never liked, really. Um, I always find them tedious, annoying, and overly usually overpowered. The reason they are, for, first off, they find, I find them annoying is because there's always, you always have to wait to go over their weak spot is exposed, whatever. And you just, usually you're just going around in circles, waiting to heal, or healing, going back to it. That gets, that gets irritating. That just, just really frustrates me. I don't know why they keep doing boss fights. Some games have so many boss fights, and the last game I played that had pretty much heaps of them was would have been in inversion. In the inversion, that had shitloads in the campaign. Come to the final boss, the final boss was pretty much easy. The ones in the new in the game were a pain in the ass. But um, this one on final on the final Resident Evil Revelations, I don't know. This is some one of those ones that just takes a piss. Like, if you saw a video of the, of the start of the boss, you think, oh, look, he's moving slow. But, it, I mean, if you want to look it up and you don't really care about spoilers, trust me, it's a fucking pain in the arse, sorry. Um, because it's like, there's this guy, I don't really come to bother explain, but yeah, he's mutated or whatever. Um, he's like, and every now and then he'll expose like, his heart and he'll like shoot at it and fucking, has like three phases and that's, like I get past the first one, um, first one's just like, come on, you do that and you keep, sh you shoot at him and then you sort of avoid, um, you shoot at him and when he gets stunned he'll go around. And he like teleports and shit which is really frustrating. Um, so he's limited health items, I didn't ha you can only hold five, five health items at a time which is, is a bitch, um, but, um, there are two in the room, and you can scare the enemy, and that gives you your arms. If you've played Resident Evil Revelations, you'd know that. Um, but scanning enemies gets you up. Healing items. Um, then his second phase, he has like a duplicate, which isn't a real one. And then I figured out you can tell, he's kind of blurry, you know that. And then you like you do that, and then um, the one that's got the, like the purple smoke coming out of him, exposes his heart, then you shoot that and you get stunned and then that repeats the process. Once you get past that past that stage, the final final phase is a fucking it's like I'm getting angle probed. It's completely bullshit. It does like this it gets in the raid mode thing. And then I was using my shotgun most of the time, which is the the, the what I looked up to you know be the best weapon and I'm to use and it is from the from the other phases. I ran out of ammo, because you, you go through it trying to take this guy out, and um, final phase, he'll do like charge at you, and then all of a sudden he'll do this thing where all of a sudden all these like, duplicates are swinging at you, and then in one of them it'll be him, and you got to try and quickly shoot the heart, and that's really difficult, especially if you're running an assault rifle, I mean, I could, once the shotgun, and then I pretty much used up my last healing arm there, and then I got damaged and I was just like, fuck this crap, this is just not even funny anymore. No, I, 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 I like, I can understand if a boss fight is challenging, but it's also, it's not completely a piss take at like your skill and ability of the game, like, I don't know what it's, what, you must, to, to beat this game on, this boss fight on the hardest difficulty, you got to be insane. If you can do it, I, I'd go up and shake your hand, mate, because I'm on casual, and some of you might think, well, no, I'm a big Resident Evil person, so I, I, I play the, I've, I've got, like, um, six Operation Wrecking City in this one, and I played, I've, I've been playing them all on casual, because it's just, because I'm new to that style of game. I mean, I've, I know that third person, but, <laughs> That well, sounds psych. People think, oh, well, you you don't like you like regenerative health. Yes, because I've played a lot of games with that, and it's sort of sometimes that's what I've come used to. But I mean, even some games that have healing items, you know, like um, 
far cry in that I can still hold my own as in a campaign on say normal or whatever but um this boss fight really just I'm just putting me in a bad mood at the moment I'm just really not in the mood I've just put it aside I might end up going back to it later on not anytime soon because I really can't be fucked that's just the fact that that's made me annoyed it's like when I couldn't beat Dragon's Dogma I was stuck on the final boss I didn't play that game for a couple of months I was just not in the mood I especially when you spend half an hour trying to do something that's the, that's the worst thing um, I like when boss fights each, that each when you get to each phase you get like a checkpoint when games with that I'm like oh that's cool because that you know it gives you the confidence you feel like oh I can actually you know I can do this but um this as soon as you got you gotta go straight through all the phases again and that is a pain in the ass and some, in some games I've known it to be very time consuming do that and it, you just go over and you just it is it, it's frustrating and it's um, a little bit annoying I mean everybody every game would get annoyed of it it annoys me more because I'm a fucking angry person sometimes I have I get pissed off either <laughs> but um you know I just I kind of wish the developers would not lean towards having a lot of final a lot of boss fights or boss fights at the end of the game that pretty much are just a piss take as I said earlier because it kind of ruins the whole whole overall experience um, others might f see um, boss fights to be um, something that they enjoy that's cool but for me I don't enjoy them really when, when they're like this when they just get really annoying and like this I just go I can't be bothered I can't be bothered you know it's like I want to get rid of the game you know, that's annoying because I've really, in it's weird because this game doesn't really have the best gameplay, it's a bit clunky here and there, fair enough, but the story is actually pretty cool, the whole story um, stuff and all that, and the characters I found, I've been, I've been enjoying, um, but overall, it's not bad, but this is a bit of a dare, um, if I come back to it later on and I try songs and I can't get past it, I think I might just get rid of the game that annoying it's just I'm sad because I actually wanted to finish it well, hopefully I do but um yeah this is my boss battle rant catch you guys